How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the most horrible parasite, brain-eating amoeba, by In A Nutshell. Alright, so funny story actually. I actually had the one that I missed about climate change, the one that I never reacted to for some reason. I had that lined up, but this one just came out the day before I was gonna upload that one, so I'm gonna push this one in front of that one, so ignore that intro. Cool? <laughs> so... With that out of the way, this one seems very interesting. I, I'm, I really like the ones where like they dive into the human body, like how like the uh, the one where like your body is technically immune to all disease. Like that one was very fascinating to me, and I really hope this one goes in the same vein as that one. So without any further ado, here is the most horrible parasite. A war has been going on for billions of years that breeds well-armed monsters who struggle with other monsters. Oh for my survival. God! Starting off Having strong. Having no interest in us. Oh. Most of them are relatively harmless, okay. as our immune systems nice deal to know. with their weapons easily. But there are exceptions. <laughs> Dude, the sound Nicleria is top Thalary notch. Is an amoeba that has not only developed a deadly taste for human brains, oh, but is, also is that a all? Match for our defenses and stars in dramatic headlines. Oh my god! <laughs> what happens when this monster? This enters got so your insane. Body? Oh no! Flippers? Dude, that was some intro, holy Nicleria crap. Nicleria fowlery is an amoeba, a microbe with a nucleus, one of the smallest life forms on a Earth. A grain of sand, wait, this hold up. This is a voracious hunter of bacteria hair? and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Oh, is that all? Like many amoebae, it, like I said it that is already. able to transform into different stages that help it survive. Pokemon. But most of the time, Nagleria fowlery is in its trophozoite stage. Dude, what is up with this music? Like a squishy blob the sound is really cool. And hunts, divides, and thrives. That could like be the des it's definition of everything in, in your body. Water, ponds, rivers, lakes, and hot springs. Oh, so the things but that go up the pee hole. It also Maybe. feels happy in pipes, swimming pools, fountains, or spas when they're not properly treated. Nowhere is safe. The warmer the water, the more it thrives and multiplies. So in the summer, when humans seek to cool off and enjoy themselves, the chances okay, I thought that was a are highest that both species will oh. interact. <laughs> because yes, this makes silly it bird. hard to avoid, millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially in warmer climates, and many uh -oh. people even seem to have antibodies against it. Oh, okay. And this is mostly That's good. okay. You can even swallow it without consequences. Things turn bad when people dive or oh. swim in water contaminated with the amoeba oh. and water splashes high up into their noses. Oh. In a single drop of lake water, just there the nose though? It's of kind of viruses, weird. bacteria and amoebae, and that isn't really a big deal. Especially like lake water, but like the, the river and shit. Is different. From Texas, we float Let's the Rio. To the nose Rio. Of an unsuspecting victim enjoying a great summer day. I'm going to call you Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Happens. First of all, okay, we're going really diving into this. I love nose, this. As it's not really looking for trouble. The stages, it that's really cool. A few bacteria. Oh. Instead, it's greeted I'll trust by your natural defenses. It's like, hey, uh, can you, can you humans, stop? The Glaria Fowlery happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying under the radar of your uh -huh. immune system. They have the example, proper the port. Inside of your nose is covered by mucosa, Some Star Wars, Wars reference, I don't know. Chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders or alert immune cells. Okay. But Nagleria fowlery Always said I hate mucus, but there's a reason for everything, and right? And instead, calmly checks out the scenery, mildly annoyed about the whole ordeal. Huh. Okay. Now, if you are <laughs> sorry unlucky, to bother you, the tiny critter stumbles over you something my that visitor. actually sparks its interest: nerve cells. Oh. Your nose is filled with a large network of olfactory uh -oh. nerve cells that pick up molecules from the outside and transmit their information to your olfactory bulb, the center of smell. Ah, human brain. body. It's so cool, to do man. Job, these Especially the brain. Talk to each other by Brain's probably the most fascinating thing. And recognizing them via specific receptors. One of the most important of these chemicals is acetylcholine. Morning. Through sheer evolutionary bad luck, Nagleria oh, fowlery happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. And it seems to attract huh. them irresistibly, a little like I was about to say. By light. Okay. It's so like the as drug. Your factory nerve cells do their job. Using plenty of acetylcholine to talk to the so brain, just squeeze the on in there. Fowlery enters your tissue. It it's seems true. to follow the chemical signals hey, upstream. Neutrophils, crazy suicide warriors, begin to attack the amoebae. Hey, wait a minute, we know about you. Individually, they have no oh chance God. against them, as the invaders are there large is no stopping and pretty buff fighters, used to dealing with tough enemies. So the defenders swarm the intruders and kill there them either by vomiting chemicals yeah. that punch holes into them or by literally ripping parts of them off and devouring them. 
Yeah. I just got done with Attack on Titan. We don't need more of that. the neutrophil attacks slow them down, they continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination, your brain. Oh no. <laughs> this process can take between Obviously one and it ends days, there. And you'll probably not notice anything during that time. Jimmy. Until the amoeba run, Jimmy. the olfactory I don't know how, but run. Bar, the center of smell and entrance to your brain. Uh oh. Your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims. Gotta admit, that's pretty. And they all release that wonderful acetylcholine. Nagleria Fowler oh, it's hooked. Initiates it's too late. It's already a druggie. releases an onslaught of various attack molecules. Oh, God, Some why? Some are basically little bombs that rip holes into your cells on contact so their pieces can be eagerly consumed. But Nagleria Fowler is the job now done, I guess. And it's also becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it wasn't it before. To a dozen oh, God, no, it wasn't. Cups that look like giant eerie mouths. Yeah. The amoebae engage right your brain cells. Oh god, now it's just a crackhead. Large bites out of them in the corner of 7-Eleven. Oh. Now things escalate quickly, yeah. and the disease that will kill you sets in. <laughs> I'm in danger! Alerted by the massacre, millions of immune cells, neutrophils, eosinophils, Oh my god, your body is like, trying to kill this thing. Tissue, which is a problem. Your like the music too, adds to it, like a war. Not exactly a careful fighter. It's like burning down a forest oh, no. to kill the wolves inside it. <laughs> like every movie that has to do with the government at all. No waste no time and attack the amoeba using all the weapons Let's go. available to them from chemicals to try to eat them alive. Nuke Body slam it, sumo slam something. To erect barriers spiked with deadly chemicals. That's smart. A fierce battle ensues. Nagleria Fowlery can actually fight can we have back a movie about itself, this? attacking game? and killing many immune cells. I would like that. The immune system now throws everything it has at the invader. Hey, there's the sus things. The Let's go. System, tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own. It's so cool because we we learned about a lot of this stuff in previous videos. Are just destroyed or swallowed. Oh. A high fever that usually slows enemies down does nothing as the amoeba actually <laughs> survives in the heat. Oh, no. While the amoeba continue to multiply, fight, and devour your brain Dude, cells. Dude, this thing is insane. A disastrous chain reaction is taking place. One major thing your immune cells do when they fight is to cause inflammation, which directs large amounts of fluid from your bloodstream into the site of an infection. Oh. So as the battle rages on without a clear winner, more and more fluid enters the brain. Dude, the freaking this music. Point, the human done. will feel symptoms that quickly escalate. It all begins pretty vaguely. Poor Jimmy. A headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Oh. As the battle spreads I hate rapidly vomit with the passion, brain, man. serious symptoms appear. I'd rather confusion, poop. Confusion. Inability to concentrate, to oh, fatigue, no. seizures, and hallucinations. The brain swells up massively, oh. but can't expand due to the bones oh surrounding my God. it. So it compresses and disables the brainstem that controls things like breathing. Dude. Usually, within a week, the patient dies. Poor fuck! Up to 97% well, of the put patients it that infected way. by the amoeba share this fate. 97! In almost all cases, by the time an infection by Nagleria fowlery is recognized, the disastrous battle for the brain is already not so lie, far man. along kind of that there is almost nothing to be done. Oh. Not only do we currently not have effective treatments, there are also an abundance of open questions hey. about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water <laughs> is able to overcome our immune system so effectively. I think it's just dead. So how worried do you need to be about this horrifying killer amoeba? Well, not very. Yeah, was While the Nagleria fowlery is clearly extremely deadly, for and real, the truly horrible, you have stated there that have only been a very good cases in the last few decades. You are I was way about more to say it cannot be that common than to get infected. I'd have, I would have heard Not about only it does way the sooner. Need to be flushed high up your nose, it also Snort needs to get it. a good grip, and it also has to make its way through the first lines of your defenses. Ultimately, the glaring fallacy is shreds. neither evil nor a huge public health risk. I didn't like but what your tongue year, was doing there. Some unlucky people have to deal with it. Huh. We still have so much to learn about it, and until we oh, find Jimmy, a way to you'll never it, learn. Naglaria Fowlery will continue to be this vague and horrifying thing, hunting in puddles and lakes, and sometimes pools. Usually for bacteria, and, fountains. and very occasionally, for people. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is awesome, dude. Oh, hey. Who are you? It's me, your existential dread. What is happening? Um.
Okay. I'm here to make you question your own existence and everything you hold dear in life. Why? Could you not, please? Too late. Just look at all these amazing posters full of humbling visualizations. They're amazing. The scale of the universe. Yeah, it's pretty look dang cool. How huge it is and how small you are. Look at I like the, the echo effect, man. Edition. I'm a pretty, pretty positive guy. Nothing you do is gonna make me sad. Especially when you show me this cool merch. Or look at this one. It glows in the dark. But dread, these do make me feel good. Actually, yeah. I was about to say. Excitement and awe about how amazing our world is. I love it. Look how it's going. I can't persist in the presence of all. Positivity is key. If you too I don't know what's happening, but I love it. Existential dread. Make your life beautiful and also support. Oh my God! So we can put thousands of hours into our videos. Were y'all jealous that I said that other people had better ads than you? More amazing I'm, I'm sorry, but God damn, you stepped your game up. We put as much care into our products as into our videos, trying to Dude. find something clever or a new angle. This whole video is freaking perspective amazing. I loved it. You the, core aspects. the vibe was it's so the chipper. Best way to support what we do on this channel. Hey, I actually have you. The exact one of you, actually. <laughs> Keep showing them off in every video. I don't even care. <laughs> All right, so that was downright delightful. I just enjoyed the entirety of that. Like, one, you get to learn about this really dangerous thing that apparently is like catastrophic to the human body as a whole like your brain in general and then it just shuts everything down from there because obviously it's like this thing right there controls everything you know what i'm saying <laughs> but like it was just cool like the vibe of it and then the the little like the little merch advertisement thing you got at the end there that was such a cool like it was different i guess for lack of a better word it was different and that was really really dope like it was really cool, like, but on to the, I, I, I keep going back to the funny ad, I'm sorry, I want to go back to the actual video, but this was by far really, really cool, it was, it was a, kind of a different vibe to it, like a different feel, if you will, of the other In A Nutshells, and I know, like, as a channel or as a human being in general, like, the, we want to improve, you know, I keep saying that in, like, a lot of my videos, I love it when channels improve, and, like, you see that improvement over time and stuff, so obviously they're gonna try new tactics and stuff, and I, it's really, really cool the direction they're going, they make it one, they make it super, like, way more enjoyable than they already have, which that's saying something, because it was already enjoyable to watch their videos, and then just the, the topics they're ta uh, actually talking about is very, very cool stuff like a freaking brain eating amoeba like for instance it's really really cool stuff so yeah super awesome i cannot praise this channel enough so thank you everybody take two so thank everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get a video a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i will see y'all in the next episode later days